it's much too far out vibrationally for them. So they need to get to us on a body computer level, which is which is operating within the vibrational field that they operate in. And that's what they're doing. And and, and uh, without the fantastic work of people who've um, uh, been doing so much to get this information out through the Internet, through uh, things like YouTube and through uh, uh, websites and through radio shows like this, um, they are in terms of this network of um, uh, control freaks and conspirators and very, very sick people um, are not going to have the, the, the breeze that they would have had five years ago. Uh, and uh, we need to stick with it and not start, you know, stepping back from the stand we've taken, no matter what, what intimidation. Because if you have the vaccine, well, uh, you're in real trouble. Yeah, and, and then on top of that, of course, we have the whole monetary scheme as well going hand in hand with this agenda because pharmaceutical companies are going to make billions on 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 this and and you even have over in the uk uh, i think his name was professor sir roy anderson who is he's paid about one hundred and sixteen thousand pounds um and he's a government virus expert in this but he's getting paid about one hundred and sixty thousand pounds by swine flu vaccine manufacturers uh, well, it doesn't well, you've get got, more obvious than that, you know? No, what you've got, Henrik, of course, is this um, spinning, uh, revolving door. You find it all over um, the system. The revolving door whereby people who work for government then go through the revolving door and they work for uh, organizations like drug companies and Monsanto, etc., and vaccine manufacturers – that the, the, uh, the, the government's uh, departments that they worked in uh, uh, um, are supposed to police and are supposed to protect the people from. And then the, the revolving door keeps going and these people then come back in a government. And the, 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 it's the corporations through this system that run governments on behalf of the corporations. Um, I'm just uh, writing a new book at the moment and I've, I've done a section on um, Goldman Sachs uh, who were fundamentally involved right at the heart of the uh, economic uh, collapse in, um, and banking crash in September uh, last year. Mm. And when you see, Henrik, the revolving door personnel numbers between Goldman Sachs and government, and gov not, not just Goldman Sachs and government, by the way, Goldman Sachs and the Treasury uh, part of government and from the treasury part of government back to Goldman Sachs, it is staggering. Uh, Goldman Sachs run the treasury department of the United States. And of course, the Goldman Sachs is a Rothschild front. So the Rothschilds um, uh, run the uh, financial uh, 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 institutions of, of the United States. Uh, and, and this is what's happening right across the system. And so when we bring it round to uh, this uh, so-called swine flu um, pandemic, uh, you have the situation where the drug companies, uh, the Novartis, the Baxter International, etc., that have produced the vaccine are owned and controlled by the same families. In the end, it goes back to the Rothschilds at the center of the spider's web on a human level anyway. Um, and uh, that the same people that control and own them it's actually created from the start the World Health Organization, which is an organization that was set up to centralize power in one building and around one table um, over uh, world health policy. And they did this by um, enacting legislation that says when the World Health Organization itself declares a pandemic of a certain level, then the legislation kicks in and, and the World Health Organization can start dictating health policy and vaccination policy to governments. It's got nearly two, 200 governments that are uh, uh, part of its, um, its uh, cabal. And uh, so you, there you've got the World Health Organization and the drug companies controlled by the same people, indeed, you know, created by them. And then you look at the uh, Centers for Disease Control uh, in America the uh, Food and Drug Administration and their equivalent all over the world in Sweden. In, uh, and again, they're supposed to be policing and protecting the public from the outrages uh, of the uh, corporations. But hey, hold on. 
They're all controlled by the same force. And if you want to control a game and you want to know the outcome before the game starts, then you have to control all sides. And that's what they've done. And this whole uh, situation that we're now facing has been put together in fine detail over a long, long period while uh, the, the vast majority of people were watching the game show or the game or whatever and getting on with their, their lives in various ways. These pieces have been moved into place. So they, they, they use the American uh, military laboratories to create um, the virus, their drug companies to create uh, the vaccine, their World Health Organization to say everyone must be vaccinated with the vaccine, the, the uh, so-called public protection agencies like the Food and Drug Administration say, yeah, we agree with the World Health Organization, this is what has to happen. And at the same time, on another level, they've been moving um, uh, changes in, 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 in the military, in involvement in domestic law enforcement, to start moving uh, uh, the military uh, into uh, being on the streets and policing uh, domestically in, in countries like the United States. So as a result of 9-11, uh, of course, an engineered um, problem, reaction, solution, create the problem, get the reaction off of the solution, they created something called Northern Command or NORTHCOM, um, which is the domestic military organization that's, that is there it says here, to protect the, the American uh, uh, mainland from, uh, or homeland as they call it, just like uh, the Nazis did, um, from uh, uh, terrorism, etc. And also to be there in terms of a uh, times of an emergency or some kind of catastrophe. Yeah. So all that's been moved into place. They're now talking about getting permission to have uh, virtually 400,000 troops on the streets of America. Of course, if you look around the internet in the last few days, you'll see uh, footage of uh, troops on the streets in America already. Yeah. And at the, um, at the uh, G20 summit in Pittsburgh, they're, they're using uh, this uh, latest sound technology that, that uh, they fire at crowds to, to disperse them. Uh, all this stuff is going on in what was once called the land of the free. And, and what is happening in America is designed to happen um, everywhere. So, so you see how all these different pieces in the puzzle come together. And they're coming together, Henrik, at this time, which is why, as I say, the phony war is over and we need to look it in the face. Yeah. Do you think they strike, so to speak, at this time as well because they man managed to manufacture so many different uh, uh, you know, problem situations that are unfolding now, be it the, the the swine flu or the economic situation, and it just seems to me that it's 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 a heck of a pressure, you know, right now as well. As we as we seen some of these pictures uh, from people walking around on the streets in Pittsburgh, for instance, um, you know, it, they're very very clever as well in regards to how they. Uh, deal with people because you can have a crowd of of uh, peaceful protesters walking around and for all we know there could be people in there who are consciously uh, stirring up uh, the the demonstrators or police come in there and take one guy or whatever who's in on it actually uh, exactly drag him away or whatever and and this get people aroused and and actually turn violent and and it and of course you will get managed to um to uh, take a lot of those people away you know one guy we saw today uh, on on uh, youtube was was taken away in a in an unmarked uh, car by five uh, m military people for instance uh and this is the way they do it they could amass the people who have at least have the um, the voice and and the courage to go out there and say you know no we don't we don't uh, we don't go along with this we ref we refuse to uh, to go along with your plan but they just have to show up and and they could uh, uh, haul them all away so to speak and that's a that's a danger here as well so the question obviously becomes how do we show them so to speak that we are out there and we don't agree but can we also avoid not being dragged into it or is that just simply a, a consequence of the time that we're in right now, that then it needs to be some kind of confrontation. What, what do you think about this, David? No, I, I, I don't think it needs confrontation. It needs non-cooperation in, in, in many, many areas of our lives. You know, um, I, I reckon in full, in full, full knowledge of what they're doing, um, the number of people uh, in that situation, absolute full knowledge of the of the game and supporting it the agenda it's a tiny 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 fraction of the global population the the vast overwhelming majority are the targets of those few now 
they, 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 because of the way that they've been working this over a, a long, long period of time, because this has been projected forward, people would, would not, who are hearing this for the first time, would say it is impossible 